Hi, 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 everyone. Sorry for just for coming on late. I had to do a lot of preparation running from here to there. If you're in the house, just let me know. Leave a comment so I can know that you're in the house. If you're just joining us, just let me know. Leave a comment so that we definitely know you're in the house. Leave one comment for me. Leave a comment for me, let me know you're in the house. Leave a comment, let me know you're in the house. Welcome. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot we need to talk about today. We'll just um, take a little time to discuss a few things today, and I'm, I'm hoping that um, we we'll get a few more people so that we can discuss these things well, and obviously know what exactly we're doing. There's a whole lot of Hello. Welcome. So we'll give you a little bit more time while other people come in and join us. And we'll start um, we we'll start real quick. We're gonna do some other things. Uh, we're gonna discuss a lot of things, we're gonna discuss how to motivate yourself online, we're gonna discuss how to use the social media to uh, broadcast a lot of things. We're going to discuss how to take your business up another notch by you know simply just using the social media uh, platform. So a lot of us are going to benefit from this. Let me see. Okay. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys can hear me. Is it better? I hope you guys can hear me. If it's better, let me know. If it's better, let me know. Okay, um, just a little bit more. We're just waiting for some other people to join us so that we can continue with this. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of setup going on, so just don't mind me. I'm just trying to set up everything so that we can have a smooth transition in this. A lot of setup is going on, and that's how 
That's how we do it. That's how we do it. You just try to wait for if you're in the house, just let me know. Just put up, just put up um, a message in the comments. Let me know if you're in the house. I hope, I hope you can hear me as loud as you can. I hope you can hear me. I think, I think I'm trying to just adjust the mic. I hope you can hear me. If it's better, let me know. If it's better, let me know. I just want the setup to be okay before we, we continue. Oh, Rukiat, Rukiat Ahmedgiwa, you're on. Okay. Rukiat, you're on. Thanks for, for joining us today. Just waiting a little bit for some other people to come on. Rukiat. Rukiat, sorry, Rukiat Ahmed, you are your own. Okay. I'm just waiting for some other people to join us. There's a lot of topics we're going to treat today. Um some of the topics, some of the topics will be what is brand awareness. We're going to talk about brand awareness. From brand awareness, we will move on to talking about talking about traffic. Okay, from brand awareness, we we'll move on to talking about traffic. So let's see, let's see. We'll just wait a little bit. Just a little bit longer. We'll talk about traffic, how to drive traffic to your business, what and what tell i see that uh rashida is with us rashida has joined us so rashida welcome rashida has joined us rashida welcome uh it's lovely to have you in oh mohammed rufai Muhammad ali i greet you sir it's been long with nothing uh, that's that's my very good friend Muhammad ali i greet you sir um, I agree to sir. A lot, a lot of us are coming to the house, which is nice. So we can actually kick off. I can see that, uh, ah, Madam Falila, you're around. Okay. I see that Madam Falila is around. So I, I, I say hello to you, ma'am. I say hello to you, ma'am. I mean, you are, thank you for coming. A whole lot of you i'm going to recognize you one one after the other it's not everybody i'm going to recognize at the same time but i'll just try to just keep up the pace as the chats are coming in i'll keep up the pace to recognize everybody i've got i've got uh, my sister my lovely sister from italy she joined us all the way from italy i hope you guys can hear me if you can hear me just just put a comment and let me know that you can actually hear me she joined us all the way from italy just to you know grace the patient and just hear us talk and learn a little bit with us. So uh, she, she, she joined us all the way from that distance. So I'm gonna say hello to her again. Hello, big sis. Um, now, um, uh, I've got a lot of you in the house, so I think it's about time. I think with this number, we could actually forge ahead and start. Like I was just introducing earlier on, I said, there's a whole lot we're gonna talk about. But first of all, before I, even start before I continue, before I say a lot more, I'm going to say one thing. It's an interactive session. So please, if you have questions, if you have something you want to discuss, if you have something you want to ask me, just drop it at the comments. I will definitely see it. So once I see it, I would I would react to it. Okay. So that we don't um, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be just me talking all the time because what is happening is that I'm just seeing, I'm just staring at the, at the screen. So I'm not seeing any of you guys. So I'm pretending that you all of you are in this room. I'm pretending that everybody is here. So for me to effectively communicate with you guys just by staring at the screen, it's just for you guys to leave me a comment and I will know what you're saying. So I will treat every comment as it comes and I recognize everybody as, as they enter the room, okay? So now I'm, I'm going to go ahead to 
see if I can kick start as we move on. Madam, welcome. Uh, I, I think um, that's Madam Faliliat. She's, she's very, she's a superwoman. We all know her. A lot of us know her. She's a superwoman. She never rests. That's the thing. She's always everywhere. You know, we spoke this morning and she was, she was, she was just on the way. Uh, she, she has been moving from one place to the other. But I mean, I thank God she, 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 she was able to join us. I didn't know she was even going to join us, but I thank God she was able to join us. So, um, Mr. Mohammed as well, he's, he's been very, very, very supportive and uh, a good friend. Very supportive and a good friend. So, I, I hail him as well. Um, now, I will start by trying to introduce us to a few topics. The topics we're going to treat, we'll start with branding, brand awareness. All right. A lot of us, we're doing a lot of business, we're doing a lot of stuff. Most of us have side business that we're doing. Most of us have the, one, the main one that we're actually focused on, focusing on. And we all know that. We all know what that main one is. We're focusing on it now and we're doing it. So, but the, the basic thing is for us to understand what sort of way for us to move our business from one point to the other. Okay? It's not just for us to just have a business that we have running. But we need to know that, okay, this business is running, but at the same time, at the same time, we can actually move it from one stage to the other. We have our strategies, we have our techniques, we have a lot of things going on for us. But we need to know that there are three steps, three strategies that if we don't implement these three strategies, most likely things that we do or we're doing will just remain there okay now one of the things that we're going to discuss one of the points we're going to discuss is brand awareness the next one we'll discuss after brand awareness will be traffic i want us to pay attention to something i want us to pay attention to something i'm going to be i'm going to be leaving notes i'm going to be leaving notes on your screen so where you see this traffic here there's going to be a note underneath it so if you have a pen if you have a uh, paper just quickly jot down whatever you need to jot down if you miss any of this, this video is going to remain on um, on YouTube, so you can come back at any time and watch the video, so that you can catch up with whatever we are discussing today. Now, another thing again is for those of us who are here, please, if you have not subscribed, just click on the button below and subscribe, and just leave a thumbs up on the comments. All right, so we'll go into it. After traffic, we're going to talk about what I call the end result, okay? We're gonna talk about what I call the end result. A lot of us know, know what I'm talking about, but you see, there's a mistake as well that a lot of us do. We're gonna talk about the end result, and that end result is actually called conversion. When you prospect, you can actually prospect someone for the next few hours, for the next few days, but there is no conversion. So how do we convert? What are the things that we need to do to convert? At the end of this video, at the end of this class, I'm going to I'm going to give you some bonus tips to help you actually know exactly how you can wrap up the deal, how you can wrap up the conversion and get everything sorted out. Okay. So as I go on, I want us to don't forget leave your comments, ask your questions as I go. Do not wait until I get to the end. Ask questions as I go so that we can actually make this very interactive, okay? I'm gonna share my screen at some point. I'm gonna allow you guys to see what and what I'm gonna do. If time permits us today, I'm going to actually set, not just teach, but set a Facebook advert from beginning to the end so that you can see it real time, you can see it live, beginning to the end, okay? So I will start now by talking about I'll start now by talking about brand awareness. So the first question I'll ask is what is brand awareness? That's the very first question I'm gonna ask. What is brand awareness? The thing is is this brand awareness is actually very simple to understand. It's very, very simple to understand. Mistakes that we make, a lot of us, the mistakes that we make is that we start up with business and we go straight to conversion. 
all right? So if I'm going to define brand awareness, it's just a simple way. I'm going to say brand awareness is the way in which consumers, the end result that you're looking for, consumers recognize and remember your business, all right? The way they recognize and remember, those are the two things. You have to understand again that visual is one of the best things in life. Anything you see, you would actually remember faster. Anything you see, you will actually remember faster. Okay? Better than what you are reading about. Better than what you are reading about. So, it is best for us to understand that if our end users, our customers, the people we are looking forward to having on board, if it is in a way that we can present our products, we can present everything that we're doing to them real time, and they're able to remember, recognize it, then we're in business. If they're able to recognize it and remember it, then we're in business. We shouldn't just let it go that way that, oh, um, you know, they already, they already know this, so uh, everything is fine. No, don't leave people to guess for you. You need to always be there. For instance, I'll give a very perfect example. We have Coca-Cola as a product. All of us know Coca-Cola, for instance. All right? I mean, as a product. But we keep remembering Coca-Cola every time. The simple reason is we recognize the colors, the logo. We identify with it. And at the same time, we're able to recognize and remember so when you, when you build up a business, when you have a business of your own, when you build up a business, say, if you're joining the house now, I can see somebody just joined us. If you're joining the house, just please leave a comment so that I can recognize you and know that um, you are in the house with us. <laughs> please just leave a comment. Let's see, let's see who joined us. Now, you'll be able to understand that once you have a product that everybody recognizes with, all right? Because the, the, more, the more the audience are familiar with your logo, your messaging, and your products, the more they are able to affiliate with you. You cannot buy something you don't know. You cannot buy something you are not aware of. That is why I said brand awareness is simply the way in which consumers recognize and remember your business. Okay? So some of us are already in business where we, we affiliate to companies and they already have they already have the logo, they already have their strategies, they already have their company brand, they already have their names. But the truth is that if these companies that we are affiliated with, for instance, I mean, I don't want to mention names, uh, but if these companies we are affiliated with are not exactly advertising, if they are not exactly advertising, so it simply means that, if they're not exactly advertising, it simply means that people would not readily recognize their logo people would not readily recognize their messages because they're not actually pushing any message forward they're not advertising they're not putting anything there so it's now left for you that's affiliated to that company to actually brand yourself okay once you brand yourself you'll be able to now push out your message not necessarily a logo because you're affiliated to a company but if you are running your own personal business that's a whole lot of us that are running our own personal businesses. And we intend to use the social network, i.e. Instagram, i.e. Facebook, to actually see if we can promote our product. But the mistake we make, which is, which is one of the reasons why I, you know, I'm giving this lecture today, the mistake we make is we just go, we we'll move straight from having, opening our, Instagram business account or Instagram page or any other thing that we're doing, any, any, any other avenue, any other social network avenue we're going to use. I will just go straight to prospecting and converting immediately. All right? Now, that is where the headache is because, okay, I can see, uh, madam, I can see someone has joined us. Someone has joined us. Welcome. That's uh, Gibson. Welcome. Thank you. I don't know where you're coming from, but Thank you. So that is why we're having issues. Most of us are actually having issues 
you talk to people, you prospect with them, you keep talking to them. At the end of the day, it seems as if it's very tough to convert them. The only reason why it's going to be easier to convert people straight like that is if they already want the product. That is actually what they want before they get there, before they meet you. That is actually what they want. So it is very easy to prospect them. It is very easy for them to say, you know what, this is what I want. This is what I'm doing. Okay. So when you talk to them, <clears throat> when you are talking to them, when you are you are discussing with them, when when you have anything you have introduced to them, guess what happens? They will buy into it because you are not the one really doing the hard work. They already know. They already want this product. They are already there. So they they already believe that this is exactly what is going to happen. They already know the product. They kind of sense how, how it works. You're just there to finish it up. But what about if I, if I have my own side business? What about if I want to push the business I have already further? What about if I want to make sure that my prospects, I don't lose them? So we're going to talk about a lot, a lot of that. We've, we started with saying brand awareness. And then we talked about what is brand awareness. And then the next thing is, why is brand awareness that why is brand awareness that important? All right. A lot of us would ask this question. I mean, I'm not the only one that's going to that has this question in mind to ask. Okay, why, why, is, why is it important? Okay. Now, the reason why it's important is simple. All right. The reason why it's important is simple. Please just keep looking at your screen. You will notice I keep leaving notes there. The notes I put on your screen is simply for you to catch up with what I'm saying. So as I explain, you're able to jot down stuff, you're able to pencil things down, and then you'll be able to ask me questions if you can. I can wait a while, but for you to go get a pen, get paper, jot down. These are important. I have someone, I have someone that attended the last lecture that I did. He attended the last lecture that I did. He was on from the beginning to the end. It was about two hours. And guess what? Today he has started implementing it. I, I don't know if he's here today. Today he has started implementing it. And when we spoke this morning, he told me, he said, one of the strategies you gave, excellent. That's what he said. He said, thumbs up, that he has implemented it. And he has gotten 20 prospects. I don't know if he's here. If he's here, I will, I will recognize him. He has, he has gotten 20 prospects already, already signed up. Immediately after that last lecture I gave, 20 prospects already signed up. And that's, that's incredible. You understand? That is, that is incredible. So we have a lot of strategies we're using. I'm not saying some are not good or some are, you know, they are all good. But it all depends on how we present them. It all depends on how we follow up. They have sequence that we have to follow. All right? You can't wash your plate and then then decide that you are full, and then you cook the food. You have to, first of all, cook the food, eat the food, then wash your plate. So you can't do it backwards. A lot of us just jump to the end. That is, that is where we're having a lot of issues. So if the question arises to say, why is brand awareness important? Why is brand awareness important? So I'm going to say brand awareness is important because it helps audiences understand. It helps your prospects understand. It helps them recall and become comfortable with your branding and product. Okay? You know, we discussed this earlier. We said you need to make sure that you have your products out there. You need to make sure that people recognize your product. People recognize your logo. So when they do that on and on, they become comfortable with it. I'll give you an example. I won't mention the names of the drinks, but there's a certain subject that if you want to go buy it right now, all right? You will be able to just walk into a shop and purchase because why you are very comfortable with them they have different colors they have different brands but if a new one springs up today you'll be skeptical to walk into a shop and say give me that one because you don't know how it tastes you don't know what it is you're not familiar with the brand you're not familiar with the logo now for long reach for instance for long reach for instance there's a whole lot of product that they have that people identify with the product but not the company. 
I hope, I hope I'm making sense here. Can you drop some comments, please? I have, I have a lot of language people. I, I see some, people, some other people have joined us. So welcome to the house. If you have joined us and you're just coming in, please, can you leave a comment so that we can recognize you and know that you're here? You know, so, so that I won't just be talking to myself. Sometimes it's going to get boring. <laughs> you understand? I need to know that you guys are there watching me. You guys are there talking to me. So don't just stay stagnant or static. So, I, you know, it feels funny. You know what I'm saying? So, but the thing is this. Drop a comment. Let me recognize you. Let the entire house know that you have come on board so that we can, we can we know what, what, what's the next step. So, I'll continue. If people are very comfortable, if people are very comfortable with your brand, the next thing they will do is what? They will associate with your brand. They will recognize your brand. You understand? They would go ahead and say, oh, this is exactly, if you, have, if you have joined us and you have not subscribed, please just take a second and look, just scroll down, you see the subscription button, just click on the subscription button and then, and you know, we're good to go. Aha, the man I have been waiting for, I salute you. See, I would have stood up, this is, this is, this is my, this is my very good friend who doesn't like talking to me unless he needs to talk to me. But even if he's not talking to me, he's talking to me somehow. I greet you, sir. Good evening. I hail you. His name is Mr. Kristen. He's in the house. I hail you. I hail you so much. Okay? Well done, Baba. Welcome. Now, um, somebody asked me a question. Now, before I continue, um, I'll, I'm, I'm putting the question on the screen. The question, the question says, please, concerning awareness, are you saying we should mention company or display products on our wall? Okay, that's a fantastic question. Now, concerning awareness or displaying, um, displaying what you, you need to display on your wall, I just took language as an example. I said a lot of people identify with certain products of language, but they don't identify with the name language. Okay? Now, until you match the products that they identify with with the, with the name language together, before they will now say, oh, oh, you get what I'm saying? Because a lot of them actually know language toothpaste, but they don't know the company. Now, if you have your own set of goals, how you are moving. Even all, all, everybody who is in that game of language, everybody who is in the business of language actually have their own business names. Let's not, let's, let's be frank. Everybody have their own business names, all right? So as you have your own business name, what you simply do is you brand yourself alongside the products that you're selling, all right? So you brand yourself alongside the product that you're selling, and then you move on. Hope that answers your question. Ahmed, Ahmed, I hope that answers your question. If, if you have your own company, yes, it is fantastic to actually, it's fantastic to actually put, put the name out there and say, oh, okay, this is, this is, this is where, this is my brand name. Uh, it's actually good again to actually uh, put up a logo. If you don't have a logo, you design a logo. If you are affiliated to a company already that has a logo, then you ride on their logo. You ride on their own uh, availabilities, on their own products. They've already structured themselves in a way that you can actually ride on them. So that's what I mean. But if you are if you're actually going ahead to show your own personal business that has nothing to do with the affiliation to another company, then of course, the first thing you require, the first thing you need is a logo. The second thing you will need is for you to now start putting strategies to create your company as a brand. You have to present yourself as a brand, not just, oh, my company name is XYZ Company Limited. If it is not recognizable by people you want to prospect, they will not see you. 
all right? They will not see you. So you have to make sure that that happens. You have to make sure that that happens, all right? So now, if I, if I I'll continue, you know, I, I told you that brand awareness is important because it helps audience understand. It helps your prospect understand. It helps them remember. They become comfortable with your branding and products, all right? So especially when you are targeting some few individuals, all right? So it makes them it makes them comfortable with your product. Hope, hope, hope that, okay, you said that. Well, we'll move on from um, it being important. There's something else we need to see. This question says, how does digital marketing brand awareness how it increases brand awareness just a little bit simple i will explain <clears throat> once anybody anywhere in nigeria outside the country once anybody anywhere starts a business the first thing they do they go to digital marketing the first thing they do they rush down to open up the business, um, the business page on Facebook, the business page on Instagram. They open up and they start posting pictures, talking about their their product. But do they really understand how the digital marketing could help them? Do they really understand how digital marketing could increase the brand awareness they are trying to do? Don't get me wrong. From your Instagram page. From your Facebook page, from all the social networks that you belong to, whatever you post and the things you keep posting, you're already trying to create the brand awareness. You're already trying to create the brand awareness. You're already trying to push your brand there, out there. But are you really doing it the right way? That's the first question you ask yourself. This is just about just putting pictures, uh, putting um, probably. Like the if it's affiliation, you put testimonies, you put other things. Are they connected to you? People need to trust you to buy from you. All right. Some people need to connect with you directly in order for them to buy from you. That's what I'm saying. So the simple thing is, you ask yourself, okay, how do I go further with, with this? How do I? What what will I do to see if it's going to help my brand? Okay. Now, social media networks, all right? We all know that it is not a secret anymore that most things are done online, all right? Even statistics have it that more than, more, than, more than six hours is spent by everybody on daily basis online. More than six hours. More than six hours of everybody's time in the in the entire continent is spent online. So if everybody is spending that much time online, it is now an indication that the internet is a place you should not take for granted. Because if you put a if you put a signboard out there that reads whatever it reads, who is going to actually stand? Who is going to actually stay consistently staring at the billboard for six hours? Most people would not. But you see, on social media and on social network, when I keep saying social network, I'm putting everything together Facebook, um, Google Plus, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, everything together, social network. So on social network, you find people. Spending more than six hours per day. 
with the with the with the recent with this recent problem that we're having with COVID nineteen, you guys will also agree with me that it is now very evident that the internet is the next step. The internet is the next step for us to move anything that we're doing by. Having the statistics in mind, when you take advantage of the social network, it simply means that you're putting what you have as products, what you want to sell, you're putting it in front of the consumers, wherever they are. You don't need to go look for somebody, which means you can be in Lagos and prospect somebody in the UK. You can be in Lagos and prospect somebody in Kaduna. You can be in Abuja and prospect somebody in Adwek. Simply because the internet has brought both of you closer. Don't forget our first thing. You have to make them understand who you are, which means they have to identify with your brand. They have to recognize your logo. They have to recognize your brand. They do not build confidence in you. Then you cannot take advantage of the fact that the internet is there. To reach out to them and say look hey guys this is what i'm selling hey guys this is what i'm building up to give you guys all right now it's interactive if you have any questions so that i don't just keep going on on and on but if you have any questions you just drop it in the comments i will definitely attend to the questions all right now moving forward once you understand that the internet is a place you can actually take advantage of. All right? You can actually take advantage of it. So, what do you do? The best thing for you to do is you actually do take advantage of it. All right? You do take advantage of it because people people spend a lot of time, which is a fact. People spend a lot of time on the internet. If you calculate the number of hours or you know minutes that people spend on their WhatsApp, it's a lot. I know a lot of us don't know that Twitter handles. You can actually do adverts on Twitter. You can actually do adverts on Facebook. You can actually do adverts on Instagram. All right. So we need to take advantage of this advert. We need to take advantage of this medium to actually showcase what and what we intend to. Sell. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to discuss is how to use our uh, <laughs> how to use how to use digital marketing to improve brand awareness. How to use digital marketing to improve brand awareness. Remember, I said that in the course of this this our uh, family meeting today. In the course of this our uh, family meeting. I'm going to show us, I'm going to experiment by sharing my screen and show us how to actually create an advert from beginning to the end. So if you stay to the end of the course, you'll see that and I'm going to give you some bonus tips on how or what to do to improve the strategies you already have, what to do to improve the strategies that we're already discussing. So we're going to, we're going to do all that. Uh, let, let me just take time out again to see, I think, there are some questions that have been dropped for me. Uh, Mr. Christian says, identification with one's fundamental. <laughs> okay, calm down with this English show. <laughs> ah, okay, calm down with this English. We're not, we're not in the library. Take time. Um, yeah, you are, you're actually correct, sir. Identification with one's fundamentally. You get what I'm saying? So you have to identify, you have to allow your customers to identify, and then we, we move on. There, there's a comment here. Um, um, Ahmed Giwa says, if I get you right, business awareness will be best done and yield positive results on business page, not personal page. Oh, yeah, of course, yes. Look, you have to understand the difference between the two. All right, the essence of business page. Business page is different from your um, what's it called? Your personal page. In fact, she has triggered me to do something. I think I'm going to. I think I'm. I think I'll be forced to. <laughs> she has triggered me to do something. So I think I'll be forced to 
see if I can share my screen on on about Facebook. So I, I can show you the difference. See, the functions, the options Facebook gives you on your personal page is not the same as the options it gives you on your business page. All right? Your business page, you are able to do a whole lot more. You're able to do a whole lot more. So much more that you can't, you can't, you can't actually achieve it at all if you're going by um, your personal page. It is not possible. You can't achieve it. All right? Now, I'm, 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 she has, she has, like I said, she has triggered me to do one or two things. So I'm going to see if I can actually, if I can actually um, share my screen later on in the session to show the difference of the business page and the personal page, all right? Business page, personal page, what and what, um, what the differences are. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. As a matter of fact, let me, so that I, I, We'll move on so that um, uh, I'll answer Madam Giwa's question. Just give me a second. Let me share my screen so I can answer Madam Giwa's uh, question. All right, just give me a second. Let me track down. Yeah, I found it. Let me track it down. Okay. So, give me a second. I hope you guys are seeing it. I hope you guys are seeing it. Hope you guys are seeing it. Oh, oh, um, sorry. I have, I have. Uh, before I continue, I must, I definitely must do something. Otherwise, I'll, I'll definitely be in trouble. I'll definitely be in trouble. I want to recognize, I want to recognize a special person who has just joined us now. Uh, this is uh, uh, Doctor Id Charles. She owns the Health Gospel. She owns the Health Gospel channel on YouTube. Um, it's fantastic. I will leave. I will leave the. I will leave the link at the comment so that you guys can actually visit this <clears throat> this channel and subscribe to it. She she talks a whole lot about our health. She, she gives us a lot of advice. She talks a lot of things about it. And I think yesterday she had a program that she discussed on timely death in families. What to do with us and all that. It was a fantastic experience. I, I was I was amazed. I actually yeah, came on board. I saw it. it was a fantastic experience. So welcome, Ma. I I I <laughs> thank you for joining us. Um uh, yes, I'm also I have somebody else in the house. His name is David. David, hi. Welcome. Uh David is David is in the house as well. So um we we have recognized both of them. David is in the house, but we we recognize that now to, to answer to answer Ahmed Kiwa's question, right? To answer Ahmed Kiwa's question about personal page and the, um, the business page. Now, if if you look at what I've just opened up, it's a business page. New clips. This page, I'm I'm looking at it from the I'm looking at it from the admin perspective. So you're going to see a lot of controls saying edit this, edit that. So I'm not looking at it from viewer's perspective, all right? So just flow with me. Now on this page, you'll see that it gives me, it gives me the ability, look at this, see where my mouse is. It gives me the ability, let me, let me, let me make the screen a little bit, uh, can I do that, a little bit bigger, yeah. So it gives me that ability to edit my shop, you see? This is this is a channel. This is a, a page that showcases clothes, like a boutique, shopping and retail, all that. Now, Facebook, because it's a business page, Facebook gives you the ability to edit it and convert it to a mobile shop, which you cannot do on your personal page. It's impossible. You cannot do that on your personal page. So, if I if I if I go here, for instance, and decide to use it, it will ask me if I decide to edit my shop. For instance, look at look at this control here. It has shop here. So if I go here now, this is where I would be asked to set up my shop. I'll be asked to set up my shop. 
they showcase your products, make it easier to buy from you. It's very easy. Facebook has made it in a way that if you if you set up this shop, for instance, once you set up this shop, you're able to put items, you're able to put everything, even with prices. Then you connect it to your WhatsApp, you can connect it to your Facebook Messenger, and then guess what? You can connect it to a payment gateway. So when somebody clicks on it, they make purchase immediately, and your end is just to deliver. I hope that answers your question so that we can move on. Amen. Madam, I hope that answers your question. I hope that answers your question. Let, let's let's move on. Oh, I'm I'm grateful, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Hope that answers your question. Um, I'm gonna take comments again before I, I proceed further. Before I proceed further, um, Mr. Christian said something. Then six hours <laughs> is averagely. I have a lot of friends who don't switch off their data. Be my guest, brother. Be my guest. Be here. We have a lot of time. And like I told you, I have I have so many things to actually share. Then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you some tips to actually enhance what you have already. Mr. Christian, if you want me to tell them that thing that we discussed last night, just put it on that place and say, go ahead. Because I've already told them. I've already made an example that you, this Mr. Christian was the person I was talking to you guys about. He was in the last in the last session I had, and, we, and I and I taught some few strategies in which he said he implemented them greatly. And when he actually did the implementation, it worked for him. He's gotten he's gotten so many people who have come on board to say, "Oh, yes." You understand? He has found so many people who have said, I'm interested and all that. So he's the guy I was talking about. So now, if you if you look at what where where we are, look at where we are. You said how how would how would this, how does digital marketing increase brand awareness? We've discussed some some one little things. We've talked about how to get in front of get your product in front of clients, how to make sure that these clients are actually right there in front of their phone they are right there in front of their pc they're doing something else they're browsing the internet they are watching whatever they're watching and guess what your product comes in front of them once they are able to identify a whole lot of us here there's some products once you see the logo of the company we identify the company immediately we might not know all their products but we just identify the company immediately there's some Drug companies in Nigeria, for instance, as they go by, as their vehicles drive by, once you see their logo, you're, you're identified. The banks, for instance, most of us don't have accounts with all the banks, but once you see their logo, we're able to identify that, oh, that this is this bank, that is that bank. Because why? it has stuck to us. They have created a brand awareness for us. You see that now? We are aware of their brand. So you have to actually make people aware of what you want to sell to them. You don't go straight to prospecting. You hit the person straight and say, oh, come and do this. I want you to join this. I want to be this. I want to buy from me. The person will be very skeptical. The person will be watching. The person will be thinking, okay, what are you showing me? What, what do you want to sell to me? I understand what you're saying, but I think this is one of those their tricks. But if you take your time out to actually say, you know what, this is me. Build a trust. Get in front of the person. Show the person the product. The person will start looking for you. Are you getting me? The person will start looking for you. And I've, I've also said that, look, brand awareness, again, we can actually make use of the internet. We can actually make use of the what? The internet. We make use of the internet every day. So why don't you just take a step further to use the internet to actually market people? All right? It does It does have the job for us. It does have the job for us. It does have the job for us. Because if you keep thinking that, okay, okay, I need to go and see this person. I need this person to call me. When will I chat up this person? Sometimes people get bored 
when you keep sending them text messages, either by SMS or by WhatsApp. They get bored. People actually generally want to make sure that there's some few things they're seeing visually. Visual effect is one of the best ways to sell anything, any item. You can sell an ice cube to an Eskimo with video. Because the video actually explains everything the person needs to hear. The video actually tells the person exactly and what and what the person wants to see. But typing, sending messages every time. Sometimes the person will just, oh my God, I'm tired of this person. And some of this, uh, I mean, social network media that we use these days, they have what you call silence. They will just click it and your messages will come in quietly. They won't know. So whenever they open their phone and see 70 messages, they just click and go out again. They have not read it. If you follow up with a call and say, hello, sir, I'm, I'm calling to find out if they did it. You say, oh, OK, OK, uh, yeah, yeah, I've not read it. Or he'll say, oh, I've read it. Um, let, me, let me call you back on Thursday. Let me call you back on Thursday. That's what you keep getting, All right? So if you take advantage of the fact that the internet gives you that ability, that ability to actually maximize what you have, to actually maximize your organic social media presence. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You have to do what? Maximize your organic social media presence. You already have followers. You've already built an organic presence online. Maximize it. This brings me to a very crucial topic. A very crucial explanation. You have an Instagram page, or let's let's let me use Facebook. Everybody knows. You have a Facebook account. Before you started business, or after you started business, a lot of us built, you know, created our Facebook account before we even thought about doing business at all, either personal or otherwise. Now you have this Facebook account, all right. What what's what's next with that? You have the Facebook account. You've already geared up. A lot of friends have joined in. A lot of people have followed you. A lot of people are still following you. You, you send one post, they, they give you a like. You ask them to share, maybe three, five share. Now, how do you maximize those people? Is what I'm discussing next. There is something you need to understand. The people that are following you, there are people following them. The internet calls it algorithm. In my last session, my last class, I discussed algorithm very well. I'm going to do another video to actually explain that algorithm to you. Algorithm is like a ripple. You know when you throw a stone inside water? It falls and then it does what? It just ripples down. That's what algorithm is. So you have 1,000 followers, for instance, and you send them a message. Now, when you send them a message, please, please, unless you do not want to use it as your business, make sure you have removed the setting that says, share only to my contact. That won't work. Well. The algorithm will just restrict your share. All right? But if you remove that restriction from share only to my contact. You say share publicly. There's, a, there's, there's an option that says share publicly. So whenever you share something or you put up a post, that post appears in the entire 1,000 people that you have as your contact. Now, simply because you have said share publicly, the, the, the Facebook will now look at everybody following the entire 1,000 people and also send the messages to them. We're going to do a little calculation so that everything, like I said, this, this lecture is practical. There is no storytelling. I'm not going to give you fake news or, you know, not make it your why. I'm going to actually do everything by the books so that you see what I'm saying, all right? Now, I'm going to share the screen again and show you something. I'm going to share a screen and show you something. Now, OK. So here comes my calculator. You have a 1,000 people. 
1,000. If those 1,000 people, you've sent messages to them, that means you have reached 1,000 people. If those 1,000 people all have 600 followers, on an average, let's even say an average of 100 followers. You understand what I mean by average? Some people will have 2,500 followers. Some people will have 500 followers. Some people will have six followers. So let's just say an average of 100. So if they have an average of 100, you multiply the 1,000 simply by 100. This is how much, how many people you have reached by just sharing one message. By just sending one share. But this works perfectly if you are going to do some other tricks I will tell you at the end of the program. There is a way you are going to think that this is going to continue happening and it will not continue happening. The algorithm functions in a very, very serious way. You have to understand how it functions for you to actually take advantage of it. All right? For you to take advantage of it, you have to understand how it works. So the algorithm works, works differently. Now, once you have done that, you are taking advantage of your social media. You know, you know when you say organic, it means original. When you say organic, it means something that you, you grew from, from scratch. So organic social presence means that people you have bloomed already, people who are aware of you, people who actually know you, people who trust you, people who recognize you, so when you present a product to them, I'm selling this. Do you care to buy? Out of a thousand people, 200 will reach out. Even if a hundred reaches out, don't be shocked. 60% of that reach out will just be inquiry. But see, they trust you already. So the mistake we make is that we don't take advantage of our organic media presence, our organic followers who are looking at to reach out and get new followers the algorithm is supposed to actually help you find new followers not you struggling to do that because the more you reach out to 1000 people 1000 people have 100 each that's 100000 100000 have 100 each okay 100000 have 100 each we can see i mean we can still try that mathematics. A hundred thousand has hundred each. Let's let's go ahead again and multiply this again by hundred. You've reached ten million people, and you're wondering why I keep hammering that Facebook is a powerful tool. You have reached ten million people already. The only reason or the only difference about what I've explained now and doing a proper advert is. You will not cut down this 10 million to specific people that you know will definitely be interested in certain areas of your product or in certain products that you are delivering. Hope I'm clear. You understand? I'm, I, I think I have a comment. Um, let me see. If you are just joining us, thank you for coming in. If you're joining us, just, just drop, 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 drop your name. Drop your name, drop a comment so that I can I can recognize you. It is actually very, very important that I recognize everybody so that I can work freely outside. There are some people like for people who are just waiting for me to recognize them. So I would probably take a roll call again. This my other is very important to me. That's why I keep recognizing him every time because I want to actually go out and I am okay. He has tagged me to be somebody oh I'm saying one thing or the other. This guy is my friend, is a very important. I recognize him all the time. And all the way from Italy, I have my sister. I have my sister on board. She has been listening. She has been helpful. She's my strong pillar. She's one of the greatest supporters I, I have. All right? She encourages me from anything. If I tell her I want to stand up for six hours, she'll discuss with me for another three hours or while I'm sitting down. So I said, I won't stand up. Then if it's good, she'll say, okay, go and do it. But you know you have done three hours already. You understand what I'm saying? So... That's how she supports me. She tries to give me every support, every support I get it comes from her. So I, I listen to her. I, I try to walk around things that will not 
aggravate anything between she and I. So she's my greatest supporter. All right. So I'm recognizing everybody one after the other. I have, I have, uh, I met you in the house. Uh, I greet you. I have, <laughs> I have uh, Rashida in the house. I greet you as well. Thank you for, you know, praising the mission. Um, Madam Falilat, hmm, I have her in the house. She's, she's a renowned architect. She's, she's a superhero of a woman. I mean, she's a woman who she doesn't, she doesn't, I don't think she has rested for a long time. It's really of recent days. She has not rested. She's just jumping and trying to make sure that all strategies are put in place to move people forward. She's one of the people who actually pioneered and engineered what you're seeing today. All right. So thumbs up, ma. I like, I like, I like shipping with you. Uh, my good friend Mohammed. Mohammed is uh, a little bit far away. Otherwise, he will probably be sitting right here with me, and we'll do this program together. And maybe one day, one day, Mohammed, I invite you. Mohammed will sit down here. We'll do this program together and talk to everybody. All right. Um, so, and again, uh, Udwa Gibson, I hail you. I'm going to move forward. With that. I just want to recognize those that are in the house. I can't recognize everybody, but I'm just pushing what I can do. All right. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, <laughs> um, my guy here has sent me, see, see what I'm saying? He has sent me a message of fire. So I have to be very careful. He has sent me a message of fire. I don't know whether he's saying, don't call my name again, or just keep announcing it, or I am outside your gates. I don't know what he's saying, but whichever one it is, I hear you, sir. We're going to continue. Um, there's something, you know, moving. If, I'm, if, I, if I have to move move forward now, I'm going to shock everybody with the next thing I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to talk about. The next thing I'm going to talk about is shock everybody. And I don't think, or I, I don't expect that it is going to shock you that much. The last thing we just discussed now is for us to actually maximize the organic presence. And this is telling us how digital marketing increases awareness. Now, this is the next one. What, what I said I, I was going to discuss and it's going to shock everybody. Give away something free. Try and give people what you're selling free. That is the shocker here. You see, it is one of the best strategies in the world. It has never failed. I have tried it and it worked for me. Try and give something away free. When people collect, when people get interested, when people take something away from you for free, you are bringing me on board and say, I want to sell this thing to you. For instance, let me give an example. I sell mobile phones and I sell chargers. I also sell this as well. You know, we all know what this is, all right? I also sell this as well. And now somebody comes to me, I'm trying to make that person buy my mobile phone. The mobile phone I'm selling has a specific type of charger that comes with it. So with that charger and this specific type of head, the phone charges fast. But because the amount of money or because the person probably, that wasn't his plan to buy anything like that from me. He goes, uh, you know, I, right now I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, for me to sell that product, for me to actually key him in into the product, I saw that. Take this. Go and try it. He goes home. He takes his own charger. Meanwhile, I've told him that with this and his charger and the phone, you can charge your phone from zero to 100% in 40 minutes. Then I give him only one piece out of three. All right? He goes home. He uses this with his own crappy charger. Instead of the four hours his phone takes to charge, his phone now charges for like one hour, 20 minutes. He is sold. He becomes interested in this. He comes back. Believe it or not, he might not come back the next day, but he will come back 
Now, when he comes back, he wants to understand how that happened. Because just one item, his phone was able to charge faster and longer. So if he has it, three items together, it simply means that he could actually charge his phone faster, achieve more, and do a lot of things. To ask you for how much. So some of us, some of us in this chat room, some of some of us here in this family meeting we're having, there's a product we can actually give out for free that will not kill us. There's a product we can actually give out for free that will not kill us. I know the funny thing about that product. Half of Nigerians actually suffer mosquito bites. Half of Nigerians actually suffer mosquito bites. Half of Nigerians actually suffer from malaria. So if I give you a mosquito repellent, you spray your body, lasts for eight hours. I'm not, I'm not going to involve myself in asking you what your health issues are or what problems you have for me to give you one item or the other. I'm giving you the one that is generic. I'm giving you a product that everybody in Nigeria suffers from it. Mosquito bites. If you're not suffering from mosquito bites in the house, you will suffer all these tiny little bites wherever you go to. Maybe you're hanging out somewhere or you're in the farm. You can actually suffer it as well. So I give it to you. I say, go and test. Now, I guarantee you that anybody you give the mosquito repellent to would return to you to buy. I've given you one strategy. Take note of it. I've given you one strategy. I've given you one strategy. Take note of it. That's why I said, put your paper, put your pen, write. I've given you one strategy. I've given you one strategy. You see, when I created this channel, I was asking myself, what, what do I call it? I figured, I, I found out that for you to actually do anything in life, for you to actually move from point zero to 100% that you're looking for, you require basic knowledge. That's why the name came about, Basic Knowledge Channel. So I'm going, I'm going to be giving us the fundamentals, the, the small, small foundational knowledge that you require to now boost yourself. You actually require some tiny little bit of basic knowledge to actually do what? Boost yourself. So that's why, that's why we're here today. So I beg you, give something away for free. It will, it will, it will not stop your business. It will not hamper anything. Rather, it will promote relationship between you and the person that came to ask for this product. Give something away. We're going to hear a lot from me that's going to be shocker to you. We're going to hear a lot from me that is going to be something already, probably you are doing it already, or probably you thought about it. Probably you said, no, it won't work. Probably you did not want to do it. But today, this evening, this night, we're going to discuss all that. Give away something for free. You understand what I'm saying? You cannot see, there's a whole lot you can give away. It might not necessarily even be the product. It can be free advice. Somebody calls you and you say, look, you know what, anytime, just call me. I'll talk to you. I'll let you know what to use. I'll let you know what to do. I have a friend. What he keeps doing is what? He will gather a lot of people in one place, hold a seminar for them to teach them, and then he will just do medical tests for all of them free. Free medical tests. You see, when he calls for a repeat of that program, everybody's there. Everybody comes because everybody, free medical tests, I'm not paying for it. They're going to check my pH level, my sugar level. They're going to check uh, my, uh, I mean, 
the way my, my heart is pumping. They're going to check everything. So why not attend? You see, but he has captured them because he's giving away something for free. I have, I, have, I have examples as well that I can give. Some of us know my story. Some of us know my example. All right. I gave I gave some certain things out of free. There's a friend, there's a friend of mine that came to my house. He's a Dalton Thomas. So I gave him the mosquito repellent for free. When I was giving it to him, I didn't say I'm giving it to you. I said, for your children. Yo, he said, Oh, thank you. He read he read it. He said, oh. You people don't start. I said, don't worry, for your children. So I told him how to use it. I said, when you get there, do like this, do like this. He said, okay. Four days later, he called me and ordered for 10. Four days. He ordered for 10. I said, ah, what do you want to stand doing? He said, he, want, he wants to share to his neighbor, sir, because he was telling them about it and he, they, he couldn't share his one personal one. So he wants so much more so he can keep some in the house and then share to his neighbor. For this. Are you getting me? For this. So when you give away something free, it it shows, it tells a lot. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is how to increase your brand awareness. Now we're getting closer to where that is interesting. I have a comment. <laughs> I have a comment there. Okay. She said no tech. So we're going to go straight to giving, uh, I mean, we're going to go straight here. It says how to increase brand awareness. And the answer is just straightforward. You can see it on your screen. The answer is straightforward. Run Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram ads. You can actually run this advertisement on Google as well. The way I run my advertisement, I like to I like to run advert that says pay per click. I can't run an advert that just runs. I want an advert that gives me results. So when I'm setting up adverts, I want the client to tell me exactly what the client wants. What do you want exactly? Do you want people to reach you? Do you want people to call you? Do you want people to just see your product? Do you want people to watch a video? Do you want people to buy? All right, so. When I get when I get the, when I get clarity from the client, I now understand where I'll have to put my CTA call to action. Where I have to put my what CTA call to action. I have to understand where my call to action will be. Once I understand where my call to action will be, then I can move ahead. So if I have to make if I have to make people go to a store and buy something, then my advertisement, the advertisement I would create would be in a way that until those people make purchase, Google, Facebook, Twitter, anybody cannot charge me from my advert. If I do an advert that says, show them my product, I want you to show my product to 1.8 million people. Then, as those people see the advert, as those people are shown the advert, then, for Christ's sake, they can take the money. But if that's not the case, if that's not the case, then I'll do an advert that says pay per click. All right? Now, we we'll move on to the next one. From here on, it's going to be a bit quick. It's going to be a bit quick, and then we move straight to the tips that I'm going to give you at the end of the video. I'm going to give you a lot of tips at the end of the video. And I want something, I want you guys to do something for me for however we have gone through this. Apart from the chat, the screen on the on the on this side, the screen that you see on this side that you're chatting and all that. Apart from that, go down, leave a comment. I want you to leave comments on what we have discussed today so far. Leave comments so that I can read it later. Because this chat is going to disappear. So leave, leave comments down so I can read it later. Tell me the topics. Tell me what you understand. Discuss about something and let me know if you want another video or something to actually explain for that to be. But I'm going to share a lot of practicals later today. So we're discussing traffic. We're going to discuss traffic, not on the expressway. Traffic. 
We're going to discuss traffic, not on the expressway, but how to drive traffic <clears throat> to your brand. All right? How to drive traffic to your brand. You know, we talked about you creating the brand, create the awareness, maximize your efforts on the organic environment you're already existing, and then push. So, number one, at your first purchase, give something for free. You know, I talked about it last. The last topic I just discussed that was giving away something free. So, at your first purchase, give something for free. So, when you give something for free, you keep them. When you give something for free, you attract them. When you give something for free, they recognize. It's not every time that you have to give something for free. Like I said, and it's not every every uh, free thing you give out should be a product. But give something out for free. Number two. Get out more. Go to events. This is shocking to a lot of us here. I know this is this this is going to be shocking to a lot of us here. Go out more. Go to events. It's simple. The reason is very simple, very tiny and simple. You see, when you go out more, when you go to events, you are branding yourself. You'll be able to see what is out there. You'll be able to know people. You'll be able to talk to people, interact with people. You'll be able to, guess what? Guess what? Network. That is the end result. Network. You see, when you network that way, what happens? You're already establishing brand awareness for yourself. You're already about to close it. Some deals are closed just by standing on the street and saying hello. Some deals are closed just by sitting down somewhere and discussing with some people. Not necessarily typing emails. Not necessarily sending dispatch to go and deliver or bring something down. But you need to go out more. You need to go to events. It's not specific events, but events. All right? Number three, provide discounts. During the holiday season, take advantage of the holiday period that you, you, you always have. Be it the Muslim holiday, be it the Christian holiday, just take advantage of it. You can give a little bit of discount here and there. You can give it a little bit of, uh, you know, push people to just see that, okay, this is what I want to do, this is what I'm doing. Okay, buy this, I'll, I'll add this to that. All right? So you do that. Then, number four. You get involved in an event. This number four is different from this number two. Let's not mix it up. Number four, let me put it on the screen again. Get involved in an event. It's different from saying, get out more, go to events. I, I hope you understand. It's different. When I say, get out more, go to events, fine. But get involved in an event. How many events have you been involved in? Like personally, you get involved. You know what's happening. You are there. You know, you can actually see. You can actually do this. You can actually. You planned it from the beginning. You host your own event. You can call people together. You see, the essence of actually getting involved with an event is you have control of the crowd that comes to you. Another strategy, write it down, please. You have control of the event. You have control of the people. You have super control of what happens in that environment. Because why? You gathered everybody together. So when you gather everybody together, you dictate what sort of event. You dictate what they see. You dictate what is discussed. So that's why I said this number four I just mentioned to you that I showed you is quite different from, I mean, from what you're saying now, from number two that I showed you, right? It's, it's super quite different from, from, from each other, right? It's quite different from each other. So you have to understand the difference. You have to know why it is so 
and why you should actually put up an event. What you need to do, set up an event, get a reason to set up an event. Your friend is also setting up an event. Partner with your friend to set up the event. It might not necessarily be you 100% setting up this event because maybe, I mean, you might not have the finance and all that to do so. But you can partner with somebody who already is doing an event, who already is going to have an event. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Who already has that to do with an event? There's something, there's something I'm going to show you guys now. Just as I, I, you know, I said, this is going to be highly practical. So for everything we're doing, I'm going to be showing us some practical things. I'm saying that people should get out more. I'm saying that people should get involved in an event. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I have an announcement to make. Let me see properly. Bring me what, okay, there's nobody here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. Me, myself now, they say practice what you preach, right? Practice what you preach. So if I'm going to say, oh yeah, you know, um, you guys should, uh, you know, find a way to get involved in events and all that. Somebody somewhere in his mind, like that Malagao, in his mind he'll be thinking, hmm, you unko. You understand the thing? You unko. That's also grammar in the speech for screen. You unko. Have you, have you, you know? So I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen one more time and show you guys the events I'm I'm actually going to be involved in tomorrow. I'm gonna to be involved with this event tomorrow. All right. I'm gonna be involved with the event tomorrow. Let me see. Just give me a second, guys. I'm gonna be involved with this event tomorrow. This is it. It says Great Tiger Entertainment presents Great Lounge. Date Saturday 12th, which is Sunday 12th, sorry, 2020, with DJ. I know a lot of questions will come about and say, ah, what has he got to do with this? First of all, this is what I have got to do with it. Look down. It says, Ibo Kwen. I'm an Igbo man. I'm identifying with that. So, but the basic thing, the reason why I'm actually identifying with this is this. I have a channel called Basic Knowledge. So one of my criteria to push the brand is actually to teach basic knowledge to anything. So this event is actually going to tell a story about the Igbo culture through music. So we're telling a story about Igbo culture, basic stories, fundamental stories about the Igbo culture through music. So I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna cover it live. It's gonna be on my YouTube channel again, live. So that everybody, people who are interested and all that will see. So I'm gonna cover that a little bit, a short documentary, 10 minute documentary on it. But the live, the live coverage will just be from the beginning of the show to the end of the show. But then I'm now going to do a documentary for my own viewers. So that's exactly what I mean by getting involved. So, I've answered some questions for some people that will be saying he's always preaching. What has he done? Ah. So, I have done something wrong. I have done something wrong. Uh, Mr. Christian, let's not uh, make sure that your exercise book does not finish you. I have Ahmed Giwa. In fact, you're going to be one of my best students today. She said, Please, can you take number one and two again? Number one and two of what, ma? Can you quickly just type, let me see what you're talking about. Number one and two of what? Number one and two of what? Just quickly type what you want me to take. So I can do it. Just quickly type what you want me to check so I can do it quickly. Number one and two of what? Um, is it on traffic? 
Is it uh, okay? I'm getting on traffic. So if you're talking about number one and two, that means you're talking about this. This is number one. And their first purchase gives something for free, correct? Am I correct? Can I get can I get you can I get a comment from you? Am I correct? So if, if this is what you mean, number one and number two. This is number one, this is number three. Okay, she has responded to me. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right, okay. I wrote you I understand. Like you are, but you are on now. So number one, he said something for free. Okay, she said she wasn't, uh, she logged out when when I was taking it. So I'll just run through it like briefly, all right? I said number one is that at first purchase, you give something for free. I've been hammering earlier on that you have to give something for free to your customers. Once they come to you, you give them something for free. I gave an example where I gave a repellent out and four days later, I got, I got, uh, I got purchase on that. You understand what I'm saying? So when somebody comes and makes a purchase, you give something out for free. It does not necessarily have to be your product. It might be an advice. It might be a strategy. It might be something that would actually help the person. It might be, look, I'm here for you. Whenever you call me, you have this, just ask questions, I'll answer. Whenever you need questions, I'll answer. You understand? So it might not necessarily be your product, but if you can afford to give a product out, why not? By all means. I get it. So the next one you said I should I should tackle is get out more, go to events. My dear, not all one bell alone, no, like you know, you go to a party, you go to not only that too, not only weddings, not only uh Falila is having a birthday party, let's go to a house. That's not all what I mean. You go to other events. You have friends that work in banks. They usually do this their yearly bank, whatever they do, right? Then go to those sorts of events, those kind of events. Attend those kind of events. When you get to those kind of events, you will find people there that will be interested in one thing or the other that you have to say. You go to high functional events. You go to high profile events. You attend weddings. And when you do, do not just sit down to eat and drink and dance and go. Network, mingle, talk to one or two or three or five people. That's when you exchange ideas. That's when you meet people. That's when you meet prospects. I've in, I've, I've in the past discussed that there are three types of people, or even four, three types of people that can come your way. One, there are these type of people that come your way. They are not interested in what you want to tell them about the business. They just want to buy and go. They, I call them the perfect users. They're just users. Just give me, let me go. They're gone. There's a second set of people who are interested in the business. But they might not be financially capable or able to push too much. There's another set of people. They are the money bags. They want to invest. They don't care about the usage. They don't care about the products. They don't care about PV or anything. They just want to invest. So they want to have a sit down with you and have a proper business discussion and say, I'm giving you XYZ million Naira. What do I get? I'm investing XYZ million Naira. What do I get? So you have to distinguish all this. But are you going to find these people where? If you don't go out, are you going to sit down and wait until Kemi brings them to you? Really? It is actually when you go out. It's actually when you go to events. That's only when you go to places that you're able to shake hands with one or two people. That you're able to say, I am this, I am that. I do this, I do that. Hope you're getting me. It's, not, it's until you do that that you can comfortably say, okay, yes. This is what I'm doing. So that's, that's, that's a way of driving traffic. 
to yourself. You drive traffic to yourself. You have to know how to work with. I don't understand this wahala. We are in a business that says something I'm about to put on the screen. And at the same time, we do not want to do that. Network. Go out there and network. That's the fastest way to prospect. Hope you're taking notes because I've said a whole lot coming down, how you prospect all the way from your organic creations and all that. To the point where we are now that you have to do what? Network, prospect. Take advantage of church functions. COVID-19 has kept us in the house, so no church function. What do I do? What do we do? If you have networked in the past, in the recent past, there you can start saying hello sir hello ma somebody would easily recognize you because oh we met at that nobody's going to say we met at that because you did not meet at anything so you have to try to see if you can meet at that event to go out more all right so the third part of this is one of the most serious parts is called compassion. Hey, it's called compassion. A lot of people make mistakes right here. They start their business. They want to sell products online. They have a, an investment. They're selling clothes. They're selling shoes. They're selling different products. And bam, you open a YouTube page. Bam, they start sending pictures. They're trying to do heavy compassion. But long as short of the story is that there's something called algorithm. It has to, see, let me define it. Algorithm actually follows your behavior online. It follows your what? Your behavior online. If you don't have a consistent behavior online, forget it. You can post, you can share, you can ask people to say, you know what? Help me share. Don't try me. Because busy is ah, busy. I have sent it on Facebook. So share. Busy can share from now. To that kingdom come. If you, as the brand, does not have active presence on the internet, you cannot have a ripple effect that I explained in the beginning. I'll give you another tip. You can have ripple effect. So you cannot base your growth on social media, on BC. You don't even know if BC has the ripple effect you're looking for. You don't even know if BC has obeyed the laws of the algorithm. So because you're not going to rely on any other person who you are not sure that they have obeyed the laws of the algorithm, why don't you create the algorithm yourself? Why don't you go ahead and just master the algorithm yourself? Why don't you go ahead and have presence on the internet, relevant presence on the internet. Now, I'm gonna do some short, short videos later on and put here to show you the perfect time to post. Some of us don't know that there's a perfect time to post because there's actually a particular time that all network media, social network media have large number of people online. I told you some things would be a shocker to you guys today. So that is why sometimes you post, you post, you keep posting, keep posting, and nobody is seeing it. Or you are wondering that nobody is liking it, gives you, giving you a thumbs up, or nobody is sharing it. My dear, you posted at the wrong time. There is a particular time on the internet that the entire universe is at equilibrium.
Do you understand? There is a particular time on the internet in the whole world that everybody is at a equilibrium like this. That is called the perfect time to post. So when you make that post, the reason why these people have discovered that there's an equilibrium in time sharing is because they have monitored from my brother algorithm. They have monitored to see that there's a trend, there's a spike, then there's a trend of how people behave consistently with time for a long period of time. Then they took the average line. That's okay. At this point, when you post, it's either some people are waking up or they're about to sleep. So they, are, they will see it before they sleep. As they're waking up, they will see it. As they're going out, they're seeing it. As they're coming back, they're seeing it. It's an equilibrium time. So I'm going to do a video that explains that and tells you straight. So, so time, GMT, and all of that time, EST, when you can post it. So when you, when you sit down and you look at your time, actually, it's work cool. When you look, when you look at your time and say, ah, it, that's the time. You start your posting. I'm not saying it's a particular minute. I'm saying it's a particular period of time. Okay? So it's a particular period of time. What happens? You have to know. So all this we're discussing is just simply what? How to convert. Conversion is just simple. I put the definition on the screen. The point at which a recipient of a marketing message performs a desired action. In other words, conversion is simply getting someone to respond to your call to action. Conversion is not getting somebody to see your message. Conversion is getting somebody to respond to your call to action. What is call to action? What is call to action? Okay, before I move forward, uh, you see, eh? <laughs> uh, I'm very, I'm, you see, I need a, hello, ma, Odua Gibson. Just let me know which part of the country you're in. She's a very good student, you. She's, she has been following me step by step, and she's asking me questions step by step. So can I know which part of this planet that you are, this part of Nigeria that you are from. She's, she's been following me, you know, step by step and all that. So let me know which part of this, this what, what part are you from? Because th this is a very good question. You, you brought me back to you, but it's a very good question. You said, explain on the ripple effect. They really get that. My pleasure. I will explain the ripple effect. All right? I will explain the ripple effect. And I will show you what the ripple effect is about. I explained it earlier, and I used my beautiful friend that I called up the other time. And that is what I'm going to call up again. It's called the calculator. All right? So I called up this guy to explain it. I, I need you to listen and listen very well. The ripple effect. Let's assume in your Facebook, let's assume in your Facebook, you have 1,000 people following you. Please take note. 1,000 people following is not 1,000 likes. Mm -mm, not the same. Facebook has made it a way that people you add as your friends need to follow you. So 1,000 followers is what I'm talking about. That is why I said, when you are setting up your page, we didn't need to do another course on that. When, I, when you are setting up your page, try as much as possible to remove restriction to say, send to only my friends then Facebook will send to only people you tag as friends, those people you have their pictures. You know, when you go to your page, you see my friends. 
Just sit there, my friends. But you need to say, send to the public. So it will not involve your followers. It will not involve people following you. People you are following. Take it now. I have not mentioned people you are following yet. I'm just saying people that is following you. And also people that you have as friends. Now, when you have a thousand people, all right, when you have a thousand people, and those thousand people, let's say an average, they have a hundred, sorry, average, they have a hundred. So if you send out the post or the advert or a comment out, it will meet a 1,000 people immediately. Now, those 1,000 people, once they view it, because it's on their timeline, Remember, whatever you post gets on your timeline. So because it's on their timeline, obviously what is on your friend's timeline appears on your timeline so you can see it. Hope you guys understand. So because you have made a post that goes to 1,000 people's timeline, they themselves that have another followers, those followers will also see it on their own timeline. So that is that ripple effect. Timeline to timeline, that's that ripple effect. But if you're not a consistent person on the internet, if you're not a consistent person on a particular social media, and you think the timeline ripple effect will work for you, sorry, it might not work. I'm gonna give you bonus tips on how to actually do all that. It might not work. Just anything, it might not work. I hope that I hope that answers your question. Ah, beautiful. It says that quite, but you're in Lagos now. Great to great to have you around. You're in Lagos, so it's actually is that I don't know if you're in Lagos. I don't know. Are you in Lagos or you're you're in Aquaibom and you're viewing us from Aquaibom? Now, that's that's the ripple effect. So I've explained it. All right. There is always a way to get. To take advantage of everybody, I sent to you. That's why. That's why. That's why they keep saying share. This is why they say share. So it will appear on your timeline. So even if I have not been following you, even if we are not my, I'm not been consistent that much. If you share, it will not appear on your own timeline. All right, it will appear on your own timeline, and then other people can see it. So that's that's the whole. That's the whole uh, uh, idea. So at the end of the day, you find out that, I mean, you find out that having 1,000 people, all right, once you have 1,000 people and you do, you share it, those 1,000 people might have 100 people each. Right? So when you multiply that, it gives you 100,000. So you've gotten 100,000 share already. You've gotten 100,000 share already. Now, a hundred thousand people, some people might like it. They click on like. Some people might share it. Now, when they click on like, it stays a little while on their timeline so that their other people, followers can see it. When they share it, it automatically reappears on their timeline so that their own followers can see it. So let's even say that 60%, let's say, for, this is 100,000, let's even say, 60% or let's say 40%. 40% of 100,000 people will see it. Share the mathematics. So that's a ripple effect. It keeps going up and up and up and up and up and up. I hear what I'm saying. It keeps just going everywhere. All right. So hope that hope that answers your question. So we will we we'll, we are we're here. We're saying what is conversion. We have talked about it being very simple. How to get people to respond to your call to action? Very simple. I'm not talking about getting people to the stage. I'm talking about people to respond to call to action. What is call to action? Click here. That's a call to action. Buy this, that's the call to action. Shop here, that's the call to action. You keep seeing all those kind of stuff everywhere you go. 
Those are call to action. All right. Call to action simply means what you want the people to do at the particular time they arrive somewhere. That brings me back to that question I keep asking. Where do you want them to arrive to? That's another topic entirely. Where do you want them to arrive to? Where are they going to land? You understand? Where are they going to la land? Are, you, are they going to land on a website that you own? Are you going to let them land where you can finish the deal? Because you have to let them land somewhere. So as I said, as I said, as I'm not talking that. If I go into that now, we might go away. like uh, my elder said, let me even look for that chat. My elder said uh, that uh, uh, he has enough time. <laughs> my elder said he has, he has, <laughs> he said, he said six hours, no two. I get what I'm saying, but yeah, I know, I know we 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 need we need the time. I know we we all have something else to do, but. A little bit of time for us we'll still round up this program and then don't forget like i said below just scroll down below the comment section area leave your comment there so that i'll be able to go through those comments to see some of the vital questions your interest some of the opinions that you have some of the questions that you need answered strategies that you want just put put comments down there i'll see them all right so now having said that you know, we talked about what is conversion. Then I gave you the definition of conversion, right? Now, I'm going to tell you something again about conversion. Getting someone to open an email. I'm giving you the types of conversion you can get. I can send a mail to 600,000 people, even a specific person. One, will he open the mail? That's another thing. If you get them to open the mail, can they click on the call to action that you inserted in the email? Because the call to action takes you straight to the end part of your deal. Anytime you insert call to action, it takes you straight to the end part of your deal. Call to action is not begging you to come somewhere else. Are you getting anything? Call to action is not, I put a call to action and said, join me in a group. That's not the actual call to action that you need. The actual call to action that you need is click this, buy that. Click this, fill a form. Are you interested in registering? Click this. So when the person clicks that, a form appears. You see, you have said the deal, you roll it. You're not saying, are you interested in registering? Click this. Then when the person clicks, he now arrives. How are you? I'm fine. Hello, how now? Okay, I want to know about this. No. Okay, tell me. Come here. Go back. Download this. I'll send you this. That's not the end results that you require with a call to action. An action must be taken at the end of that button. A specific action that drives conversion. Hope you guys are clear. A specific action that drives conversion. Click, form, name, email, address, phone number, interested, call me, to stop. The person has registered. Plain and simple. The person has done what? Registered. So, sending the person an email, getting the person to open the email, now getting the person to click on the call to action. This is another trick. All right? When that person clicks, the person goes from where the person is to a landing page and filling out the registration form. That's the that's the, that's the conversion. It's on your screen. Read it. Okay, starts for me. 
Go your screen. Going to the landing page, filling the form and reading everything is called what? Conversion. I'm just giving you the different techniques and specifics of what? Conversion. Of this gentleman here. Conversion. But there is one ultimate conversion. <laughs> God have mercy. <blessed. laughs> ultimate conversion. No matter what we are struggling and saying we know and what we have to do and what we don't do and what we think we are doing, there is one ultimate, ultimate conversion. One. But it, one ultimate conversion. And that ultimate conversion is what is the essence of this class. It's why we are all here. One ultimate conversion. That is the whole reason why we are all here. All what we are all doing here today, that's the entire reason why we're here. I'll put it up on the screen for you to see. I'll put it up on the screen for you to see. This is the ultimate conversion. Buying your product is the ultimate conversion. Buying your product, ultimate conversion. Because there is no point of saying you know about conversion or you can do the conversion when you cannot actually sell your product. Now, in selling products, the question is, what am I selling? As on that, as on that thing, are you selling the registration? Are you selling the involvement? Are you selling? The product. So you just answer. So if your own style of conversion is once I get somebody to sign up, I've sold. Then I have a handshake. If your own style of conversion is I want to get the person to sign up, buy, and blah blah blah. That's your conversion. So you have to know. When to hit that conversion, how to hit that conversion, and what next to do. Okay. All right. So, so sorry. I'm going to go back to this our chat so we can just see what I don't know. You guys drop comments. Let me let me let me let me let me, let me give you some time to just drop some comments out there. I see Uduak says she's from AKS. I don't know where AKS is, but I think she's saying like the... Uh, oh, this is an assignment she has given. I don't know where AKS is. Can you just write that in full? <laughs> Before we get lost in Nigeria, just write that in full. Um, Mr. Christian says he has two two, <laughs> two notepads. Okay, his two, his two notepads are here, so he's actually having fun. But I, 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 hope, I hope he's been educated that you're having fun, you know, uh, catching up with everything we are saying. All right. So now I'm I'm going ahead again to now. You know we're still talking about this conversion, and then I said the ultimate one is what buying your product is the ultimate conversion. That is the best. Nothing beats that. Nothing beats ultimate conversion. Nothing. Nothing beats. So, in the beginning, I, I we talked about a lot of a lot of things, and I said at the end, I was going to, I was going to. <laughs> uh, at the end, I was going to share some bonus tips with you guys. All right. I said at the end, I was going to share some bonus tips with you guys, let you guys know exactly some of the things that you need to do. So, okay, hold on. 
No, but I think I think we'll have uh, a little bit of rest now. Oh yes, there's a question here, very, very, very important. It said, landing page, is it very important in conversion? Yes, ma'am. It is. But there are three things, or you know, four. But three things, you have to decide which one you want. There's what we call take a pen and paste paper now. Please just note this down. Note this down. Just quietly, just note this down. All right. There's what we call the landing page. One. Then there's what we call a web page. Two. Then there's what we call the website. Three. So, so many people confuse them. They are not the same. They can't be the same. A landing page, I will differentiate all of them now. So please pay attention. I'm going to take a little bit of time to explain all of them. I'm going to take a little bit of time to explain the three. All right? A landing page. A landing page is attached to an advertisement created already. So when you create an advert and you project the advert to prospects, when they see the advert, it sparks interest in them. When they like the advert, they click on it. Once they click on it, it takes them to a landing page. That's where the whole information that they need to know about it appears. A whole lot of us here have experienced landing pages. A lot of us. A whole lot of us have experienced landing pages. Those landing pages, they get automatically switched to the landing pages. But they're just one. Full length like this. You can read from now till September. It's just one page, but it shows everything. Now, in between the, the write-ups you are reading, there are buttons, call to action buttons. Some people will say, you get a discount of 30% or 35% once you do this. They put a button, say, click here, get 35%. They keep telling you the story below again. As you are reading down, you see another button that says, click here, sign up now. They continue again. As you're going forward again, you see another button. So until they finish the message you need to read, they keep inserting call to action buttons here and there. That's a landing page. So a landing page is automatically attached to an advert, a preset advert attached like this. So an advert commands a landing page. A call to action takes you to a landing page where you have numerous information and numerous call to action buttons that can now take you to the main product. Now, a landing page can link you to a website because when you finally say, oh, I'm interested in this thing, and then you now click, it's either it's taking you to where you're making payment or it's taking you to a broader view, which is a website where you now have more information. So a landing page, I've defined it. I'm going straight to the web page. A web page is supposed to be a single page like a landing page, but the difference is that it exists on its own, which means it has a domain name, www.sosanso.com. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's what it is, sosanso.com. Are you getting me? So that's the that's landing page. The landing page is one side, but a web page, the difference is that it now has a domain name. So I can stand up as some of us here have web pages. You know what I'm talking about. So I can say, oh, go to www.sosansu.com. I get what I'm saying. Go to www.sosansu.com. That's my whatever web page. So when somebody goes to that.com, it sees a web page. It's supposed to be just similar to 
landing page, one single page. For some some people who call themselves designers, now add one or two more pages just because they can. Just because what they can. But you're supposed to have all information in one page. It can be static. It cannot go beyond that. Then a website. Oh my God. <laughs> this is where I share screen again. <laughs> then a website <laughs> is now the big boy. <laughs> you understand then? It's now the big boy where you have where you have a lot. Where it shows a lot. All right, so I'm going to <laughs> okay, okay, that, that <laughs> thank you, thank you. So I'm, I'm going to share a screen and now show you guys a little bit. I, I mean, a lot of you have seen. Have seen the the I mean the website. Even if I show it thirty thousand times, a lot of you have seen it. You know, I'm going too fast. Sir. The website can be anything. So we have we have different different uh, sort of websites. It that depends on what you can carry. We have the e-commerce website. We have the normal website. We have the blah 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 website. So do you want to design a perfect e-commerce website where everything can be done? But well, let me show you. Let me show you a full. Let me show you guys a full e-commerce website. Right? Just give me a minute. Let me let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see if I can pull it up. A full e-commerce website that has what we're discussing about. Okay. okay. There's no point even going too far. There's no point even going too far. Some of the websites we use, the one we are on now, some of the websites we use, they're e-commerce websites. Konga. I want to mention them. You know, those ones that we buy stuff from, the e commerce websites, right? Jumia, they're all e commerce websites. You know what I'm saying? So, how do you not want your website? But websites should be informational, websites should be interactive, websites should be stuff that you do and it gets you straight to the bus stop. Websites should be, okay, I have done this, I have done that, what am I doing? Are you getting what I'm saying? Websites should be when the person clicks on call to action to get to your website. The website has no advert attached to it, but rather it has adverts sent to it. People connect to your website either from a search engine or from an advert that links to them, or word of mouth. Ah, I get a website, www.this. But if you create a website that is more beautiful than all the websites in the world, more functional than the entire website in the planet, if your SEO is not correct and you do not advertise it, now only you know. Who stop? You are the only one that has seen it, that is seeing it. You are the only one that knows about it. So you just definitely need to push it out there. You definitely need to say, okay, I've done this website. What is it about? Who am I going to tell? How am I going to tell them? So that's when you build up your advert for it. That's when you build up your advert for it and say, okay, let's do an advert to it. So now, before you throw another question to me, I will kindly answer that. Yes, you can do an advert that takes your advert to a landing page and then connect the landing page to a website. You can do all that, all right? But the landing page can exist on its own without connection to a website. But it has to connect somewhere, either to a payment gateway, to a phone number, to an email address, to a website, to a web page. It's a, it's a funnel. It connects to something. All right? It connects to something. It must connect to something. But it can't exist with a domain name. It has to exist with an advert. All right? A web page can exist on its own, but it still connects somewhere. It still has to connect somewhere. All right? You can make it independent, but you guys know little or no information. So it has to connect somewhere. But a website is Baba. Everything you need is going to be in there. Everything you need is going to be in there. If you want it to explain itself, if you want it to be functional to anyhow you want it, it's going to be in there. So that's that's the thing. Please let let let, let your questions come. Throw, throw in your questions. We are the bonus tip. We are the bonus tips. I know some of some of you have been waiting for this. We are the bonus tips where 
you will get the bonuses you need. <laughs> there are some few bonuses I will give now that, like I said, let me be serious. Like I said earlier, those bonus tips or these bonus tips I'm about to give would actually help you with either what you have been doing before or what you are about to do, however you want to put it, okay? I have one more comment. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I like I like my students. <laughs> I like my students. I like my students. She's she's asking me the but let me put it on the screen. She's asking me the full meaning of SEO. She said full meaning of SEO. Right? So I'm gonna do you one big favor. Alright. I'm gonna do you one big favor. I'm gonna should I put it on the screen? Okay, no. SEO simply means search engine optimization. Search engine optimization. For there's something we call crawlers. They're like worms. When you build a website, crawlers are sent to your website to see if they can attach themselves to it. So when somebody searches for a particular keyword, it sends a message to the crawlers. The crawlers now start looking for okay. I remember a website containing such keyword. Let me let me explain. Let's assume you have a website and your website is talking about female boutique. Female boutique. Now, somebody on, uh, you know, when you do that, there's a mistake people make. For you to optimize your website, that is the search engine optimization, you have to now register with Google and set up your website for site engine optimization and then allow the crawlers to come in. Those crawlers will come in and stay on your website. They will read all your content, okay? Now, when somebody goes online on Google and searches for boutique, because your website contains a word called boutique, that's a key word, the crawler will send a message back to Google that your website is part of the website that did what? That is, that contains the, the key word uh boutique all right so I'm, I'm gonna give you an experiment on that i'm gonna give you an experiment on that so just hold on let me share let me share a screen i'm gonna give you an experiment on that all right so we're gonna go to google <laughs> my brother we're going to go to google this is google now right so we're gonna go to google what we'll just simply do here is oh sorry hold on guys all right yeah so we're gonna go to google what is Google trying to do? Okay, we're gonna go to Google. What we'll now do is we'll come here, we'll say, I click on that. It gives me that. Let's assume I'm searching for clothes. It opens clothes for me. As we are talking, I optimized my video. So as we are talking, Google is actually picking keywords from this video. All right, so that's why you can see meanings anything i just that's how i become emphatic on words if you pick it up now i said people also ask which is correct look at this which is correct clothes for clothes which is correct clothes or clothes clothes versus clothes clothes so basically what it simply simply means is what it simply means is Keywords are those words that people would likely be searching for. Let's say people want to search for hand cream. Now, without even clicking enter or thereabouts, look at look at my results, my suggestions. Look at my suggestions. These suggestions I'm showing you are actually keywords done by other people, not necessarily your own. So, which means somebody has searched hand cream for soft hands. It simply means that this hand cream for soft hands, right, has a high rank in optimization. 
it has a higher ranking of organization. So, oh, that's why it's coming out like that. All right. Okay, I've turned off. I've turned off my my. There's a, there's a software I have that could have shown me how many people that have searched for this. I have a software on my system that tells me how many people that have searched for this keyword. So this particular keyword is the second best. This particular keyword is the third best. It doesn't mean if, if I remove cream, it changes. Hand sanitizers. This is the first. This one is leading. This is the highest, most searched word in the you know in the world. And it's true because of the COVID period. So hand sanitizers has become the most sought after keywords in the world. Hand gloves, next. You see, hand mixer, hand sanitizer ingredient, hand sanitizer dispenser, handshake. So it just gives you what people are checking every day. So that's what is called optimization. That's another topic entirely that we will have to treat some other time. All right? We we'll have to treat that some other time. So, any any other question? All right, she has even posted a question. Okay, Ma, she said. So, for long reach business, where is it advisable to end the landing page to? To make the conversion simple, is it from landing page to payment plan or WhatsApp or where? Very 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 good question. I said sometime in the video, I said, where is your point of conversion? Is your point of conversion sale? Is your point of conversion registration? Is your point of conversion marketing? I asked that question before. So if you feel that your point of conversion for this specifically for long beach now, if you feel that your point of conversion is actually sale or is actually somebody filling out a form that shows commitment to start the business, then by all means, when you do a landing page, you can direct the person straight to the form or straight to your WhatsApp group. One of the reasons why I have not been hammering on the WhatsApp group is this. Are you having a group that when the person comes, the person starts all over to start getting training? Is that is that particular is that particular group you are creating for training, or is that particular group you are creating for conversion? You have to you have to be thoughtful about it. Yeah? Is it for conversion or is it for training? So if you do an advert for people to come on board for you to train them, then you have a landing page where they get all the information about training. Then by all means, put a button to take them to a group where you train them. But if you have a landing page where people get to, for them to go through whatever you have put there, because most likely all the training you are doing on your group, you can put it on landing page. Trust me, all the entire training that you are doing on your group can fit into a landing page. So you now put a call to action in between the training and say, saying that, if you read up to this point and you are okay with it, click to buy or register with me. If you read up to, up to, up to this point and you are okay with it, click to join us. If you read up to this point and you are okay with it, click to join us. So you're not having people stagnant on a WhatsApp group all the time. So when anybody clicks from the landing page to meet you up at your WhatsApp on the WhatsApp on your phone, you already know that the person has read all the training materials you kept on the landing page. So because you're on my WhatsApp phone, you mean business. Because you're on my WhatsApp phone, I have to register you. Because you have contacted me on my WhatsApp phone, choose your package. So at that time, you are converting. You're no longer going prospecting the person you're no longer going to start educating um, telling the person this telling the person that strike no the landing page has done the job that was what i was trying to explain i'm supposed to do it in another topic you have brought me to it where is this my student where is she ahmed giwa <laughs> ahmed giwa you have brought me to it that was what i was trying to explain the landing page would have done all the job so anybody you see in that group is ready because whatever information you have put there 
it's so that you are telling the person if you click this it means you are joining or you can even put the call to action buttons in packages q silver gold that 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 are you getting what i'm saying you can you can just put it there so you no longer have that stress of every time you want to do training and send because let me let, let, let's be very factual and let me tell you the truth not everybody reads not everybody reads not everybody and as messages come on their phone with images and images and images they get one day they get frustrated they go to their phone they delete everything so have you passed the message no so some people yes but guess what a landing page can take the entire lecture that you give on your whatsapp group you can put it on the landing page but in between it you have fixed a call to action when the person reads to this point hello are you ready now click here you continue giving the lecture hello are you ready now click here you continue giving the lecture are you ready to buy now are you ready to join now click here so you're actually telling the person click if you are ready no grammar no stories no um okay um i have one more question don't question anything take this thing you read everything send me your details let's move so that's what a landing page does don't question it don't go anywhere again that's what the landing page does don't go anywhere again just let's go you know so basically we need to learn how to how to now maximize that's that's what that's what we can say that's what we we'll say okay hold on that's why we said that's why i said that look Okay, yeah, yeah. So, you see, like, like for instance, I, I just got a message and I said, my sister said that, that through WhatsApp, I have contact with people I don't know. That's, a, that's exactly my point. She said that through WhatsApp, she's having contact with people she doesn't even know. And that's a simple truth. She has met a lot of people through that because they actually connected with her. She actually connected with those people. So, I have, I have repeatedly said it before. We know this, we don't know that. We keep using the old style every time. Let's do a landing page. I have said this thing, two, two, two lectures I've delivered now, I've said it. Do a landing page, connect it properly. A landing page is a funnel. We'll call it a funnel in computer. It's a funnel. You get, you throw things inside it, it will see what it wants, and the one you want will come out. Funnel. So if you throw people into that funnel, they need to come out pure, purified. It's not every Tom and, and Philip that has to come to your group. You have to put a funnel, a funnel to sieve them. When you put a funnel and sieve them, the particular ones that you want come to you. So Ahmed Giwa, is that okay? Okay, she says bravo. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah. That, that's I mean, that's that's about it. So, so I'm I'm gonna share the bonus tips now. I'm gonna share the bonus tips so that we can we can call it. If you have more questions, just drop it. But if you have more questions after the video, just go to the comment section below and drop your comments you can as well if you have not subscribed you can as well just click on the subscription button so that when the next lecture is coming up you'll be notified or when the next video comes up of any of these topics you'll be notified because i'll be doing a live presentation again and also between uh a what's it called a practical lecture on how to set up the adverts from beginning to the end and put it and how to set up the landing page so i hope you'll be there on how to set up the landing page so you can actually learn how to do the landing page all right so i'm going to give you the bonus tips now my first bonus tip is be consistent on social networks be consistent on social networks so if you are for example you have i mean most of us have instagram have twitter and all that so consistency does not mean that once in a while you go to your instagram and then you click and you know 
That's not what consistency means. Consistency means this. When you go to your social network, any of your social network, please, please, in order for you to train your algorithm to monitor, in order for you to train your algorithm to understand who you are, in order for you to train your algorithm to know your movement online, this is what you simply do. Once you go online, all right, sorry, I have, I have a chat message. Okay. Once you go online, this is what you see. simply do. First tip, all right? Thank you very much, Mr. Christian. Once you go online, all right, this is what you will do. The first tip I have dropped it. Mr. Christian, are you there? The first tip I said be consistent online. All right. Be consistent online. Anytime you go on your social media, try as much as possible to be relevant. When you get there, like photos, like images, like anything you have to like. Don't just like one person or the person you know some of the things that see on your whatsapp uh, sorry on your instagram page everything that appears there are there people you know they are not it's the ripple effect i was trying to explain since you will see posts messages coming from other people that you don't even you're not even aware of simply because the person you are following is following somebody that's following them that is the ripple effect so for you to continue that ripple effect when you go online on Instagram, follow, 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 follow. That's what you keep doing. In a day when you open up, just make it as a hobby. Three times a week. When you go online, go to search. I don't know if I can do it and show you guys. Let me let me see if I can do it and show you guys. All right? So that you understand how relevant you can actually be, or you should be online. How relevant you should be online. Okay, so I'm going to share my, I'm going to share my screen again, and I'm going to bring on board Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Okay. Now. Now this is my Instagram, right? This Instagram needs to stay one place. All right, this is my Instagram. All right, as you can see, I have my Instagram there. All right. So now, let me assume this is me on Instagram. I'll go. I'll go. I'll come here. Bah, I'll like. Right? When I like, I can go here and I comment. Okay? It says, can I have your attention, please? So what I do here now is I, I now say add comment. So this thing has been posted what five hours ago. So add comment. I say, yes, you have my attention. Yes, you have my attention. Now, I've dropped the comment. I have liked. Now, once that is done, okay, once that is done, I go back and I continue again. Now, even, okay, let me even show you something. Even here, let me even open this first. All right. Now, she's got 960 following, 445 followers. Right, she, she's into properties now. Look at what she has advertised, or she's advertising right now. What it simply means that I look at all these things she has done. To be honest with you, I actually tutored this person myself, and I, funny enough, you may like opened up my Instagram, she just popped up. I tutored her uh, <laughs> some part of it myself. You have to be consistent. If you notice, she's being consistent. That's why I went back to her. 
she's being consistent. You see the highlights over here, she used them. You have to put a story, put a highlight, put all this, because even if your comments, even if your posts are not, so all these things appear on our timelines every time. So she, see, she's posting all the time. She's gotten five likes here, one comment, which is what the one I dropped. She has 10 uh, uh, views on the video here. She has five uh, likes here. Here she has 12. She has 45, you see, it's increasing. She has seven, okay? Now let's come here. Here she has 14, here she has eight, here she has 19, all right? Here she has four, here she has 24, here she has seven. Now, just to prove to you guys that I actually, I know some of you have been thinking, mm, I beg, I actually took all this person. Let me show you guys the last time, or, you know, the last time or the first time, the last time and the current time she posted. Let's go to the end of the, of her images. It's not far, don't worry. It's not very far, don't worry. This person doesn't even know I'm doing that. That's, that's how with her husband. Okay. Now, check this out. Let me show you guys something. Just to show you that this person has progressed so much. Now, just to show you something, right? Now, I'm still going to scroll. Okay, I clicked, I clicked something away. Sorry, sorry about that. All right, so now, <clears throat> she got married here. Bam. Let's go here. This was August 18th, 2019. August 18th, 2019. All right, next image. January 23rd, 2020. Can somebody just tell me the difference? Can somebody just tell me the difference in posts? Just to prove to you that I actually tutored this person. I went straight to her last one and the next one after the last one. This is the last post. It says here, August 18, 2019. August 2019. The next post, this. January 23rd, 2020. She was not consistent. So a lot of people were not engaging her. She was wondering why she was into this property thing and nobody was engaging her. So I now taught her this part of consistency. Consistency, just this part alone. Guess what? After January, she did, watch, watch this, she did, January 23rd, eight likes. The next day, January 24th, she's there. Next image, January 24th, same day. Next image, January 25th, next day. Next image, January 28th. She started worrying the internet. Are you getting me? She started worrying the internet. She started disturbing the internet. So today now, as she's disturbing the internet, she's getting a lot of people calling her because she's disturb she's disturbing them. Her, her, these things are they must come out. She's disturbing people now. I get what I'm saying. She's disturbing people. She's worrying the internet with that. Before I go to the next tip, let's let's take some comments. Okay, it says uh, it says most of the time is my girlfriend that shares. My log on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So my question, would they pay me through them? No, 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 they, they won't actually. The thing is that as she shares those things, you have to actually now be more consistent. If you keep doing it yourself, if you keep, you see, the actual reason, the, well, okay, would they pay me online? Okay, no, 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 they won't. The actual reason why you keep becoming, we keep saying consistent, you keep saying consistent is so that the algorithm will notice you on the internet. Now, like the, 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 the lady I just gave you guys an example, the algorithm has noticed her on the internet. The algorithm now, now favors her on the internet. The algorithm already understands her behavior on the internet. Look, you're marketing to these people. You're always consistent. You're showing to these people. And believe me, there's another step she's taking, which is what I'm teaching now. Like other people's comments, like other people's images. All right, 
Don't just sit down and wait for them to like only your own. Like other people's own. Let's take for example, let's see how many people she is following. All right, let's see how many people she's following. She's following 960. I can bet you she probably doesn't know all of them. But out of 960, I can think, I wish this was last year that I was tutoring her. She had just 20 something followers. But consistency brought her 554 followers. You see, when I click on her followers now, these are the people I'm seeing. Kentab collection. Look at, look at people following her. So now the algorithm has given her sense of those people. How did she achieve this? When you go, when you follow somebody, even in fact, I'm not saying see a picture, comment, follow. No. You can actually check the person, go through the person's pictures, go through the person's profile, know what the person is about. Is the person tailored towards my business? If the answer is yes, follow. You go to the next picture. Because Instagram is throwing you, is throwing at you a lot of other people's Instagram pages that you don't even know about. So when you click on this one, is, is this person tailored towards what I am doing? If the answer is yes, click follow. Is this person in line with what I'm thinking about? Yes, click follow. I get what I'm saying. So that is how you build up your organic relationship the way she has done. So when you keep following those people, those people keep seeing your own results. When they keep seeing your own result, they also check you out the way you're checking them out. And then they do what? They follow. Now, because they are followed, you are doing what? Brand awareness. You are increasing awareness for what? Your brand. People are getting aware of you. People are knowing who you are. People are building trust in you. So when she now starts presenting them with properties to buy, they will listen. I get what I'm saying. So you have to take it through those steps. It's, it's, it's a job, trust me. Now, when you like somebody's image, a message is popped up on his or her phone that says, so, so property, so, so person, so, so long reach liked my post. The person quickly goes to check you up, opens, sees your image, goes to your profile. So if the person is interested, he follows. If he's not interested, he leaves. But if you are consistent, like the way she's worrying the internet, if you are consistent and worry these people, worry the internet, guess what happens? One day the person will say, I've seen this post before. This person likes me. Okay, yeah, that's true. Bam, he starts following. I you know what I'm saying? That is the, the way. He starts following. So let's go back to our bonus tip. I said the first one I said is what? Be consistent on, on social network. Then I've also discussed this. Reply to messages faster. Should I mention names of people who don't reply to messages? People who don't reply to messages fast. A prospect, a some, somebody who is interested in your business, cannot send you a message. Oh, I just saw the flyer. I'm interested in what you. Can I? On Monday. Then by Wednesday evening, you have not replied. By Thursday midnight, you now see it. Oh my God. Okay, I'll reply in the morning. You sleep off. Saturday afternoon, you say, oh, that's not how to do business. Put a reminder on your phone. See, look down on the subscription button. Look down. You see where they write subscription. There's a bell beside the subscription. Click on that bell. Everybody do it now. Click on the bell. You see, when you click on that bell, do you know what it does? It reminds you when I post a video. If I'm going to do another broadcast tomorrow, your phone will remind you that I'm doing a broadcast. So you can tune in immediately. I don't need to be sending you messages anymore. So everybody do me a favor. Click on that bell. Click on that bell now. Just click on the bell now. So if I'm doing another broadcast, if, I'm, if I upload a video for another lecture, you will see it. Click on that bell. Thank you. Just click on the bell. If you click on the bell, indicate that you have clicked on the bell. Let me know. Click on the bell. So it's the same thing as your Instagram. Your Instagram actually sends you a message that this person has uploaded. This person has liked you. This person has shared. This person mentioned you. 
So you already, you already. So you have to, you have to respond. When you say message, so somebody tagged you. You look up. You keep your phone for pocket. You move on. No, sir. Even if you are in a hurry, even if you are in a bus, even if you are going somewhere, bring that to your phone. Respond to that message. If you can't respond immediately, contact me. Let me teach you how to put auto responder. An auto responder simply says, "Oh, thanks for your message. I'll respond to you in the next couple of hours." At least the person got a reply that says, "Oh, I see your message, Joe, but I'll get back to you soon." The person is confident that okay, there's somebody there talking to me. So if you cannot set it up, call me, leave a comment. Let's set up your social media for you. All right. Now, my next and final, my next and final bonus, like I said, it's going to be a shocker. My next and final bonus tip is going to be a shocker. I'm answering one question as a tip. When do I start? Start now. You want to advertise? Now is the time. You want to promote? Now is the time. You want to create that one page? Now is the time. You want to move the business from A to B? Now is the time. So if you keep waiting for tomorrow, tomorrow is a problem. There's, there's a quote I will say here. There's something I will say here. I will say, don't dwell too much in the past. There's a reason why it's called past. That's, that's gone. There's a reason why today is called present, as in a present given to you. Today is our present for the day. I've collected my own present. So what am I doing with my present? Open it. If you are given a present now, are you going to keep it? So utilize today. Take your present. Open. Now. That's 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 all I'm going to say. So. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to a little bit, uh, what's it called? End this. I'm going to end this program. Um, I'm going to end this program now. So I'm going to I'm going to draw another video. If you have not subscribed, just click on the button down. I think it's somewhere here. So click on the button right there. And don't forget the bell as well. The button at, at just the bell at the side of it. Just click the bell as well. So I can get a reminder anytime I'm uploading a video. And then just come back each time if you need anything to ask or to check or to, you know, that you have any questions at all. Leave them in the comment section of this video. I will definitely see them and I will respond as, as I can. Again, if you have clicked the button, the bell, when you leave a comment, when I reply that comment, you will get my response. Try it today. I will reply your comment and you will get it on your phone. You will get my, my reply on your phone. Not everybody in this room will get it, but just specifically you will get my response on your phone. So click on that button, click on that bell, and you'll get my response. All right. So I'm going to do another video. I'm going to send out an invite to all of us again for an extensive uh, um, video again on another topic any other topic you want to be, to be addressed any other topic you want me to treat any other strategy you want me to treat just leave a comment below and let me know so thank you very much mr Kristen. i hail you all right uh my lovely sister Ileana. i bless your name as well i bless your name as well and i thank you all right is there is there Okay, she says, she says, um, what's the call? She says, uh, here in Italy, we, we are homework. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, of course. <laughs> every, every, the pandemic, everybody's at home, so it, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. Um, oh, okay. Um, Ahmed, you are. I mean, you are. You said uh, you said you missed you missed the last tip. Okay, I'm gonna put the last tip on the, on the screen so that you see. The last tip is this. Start now. Everything I've said. Yes, everything I've said. Everything I've discussed with you. Everything I've, that I've. Explained. Okay. 
everything that I've explained to you, everything that I have said, instead of procrastinating, start now, start today. Any other thing that you've missed, everything that you have missed on this video, just come back to the video, come back to this channel, go to the video, watch it again. You can even share it to your friends. Those that missed the class, just share it to them. Everybody can watch the video and then you will see everything that we've discussed the way we've discussed it, all right? That is the, the last tip that you missed. All right, that's the last tip that you missed. So, uh, okay, and again, you now said, thanks so much, God bless you. Wash your hands, wash. <laughs> yes, everybody wash your hands. This is the pandemic era. We can't afford to get lazy about it. Wash your hands, use sanitizers, um, wear a face mask, you know, avoid people getting too close or too, you know, too close to you. Keep that social distance uh, of two meter, if you want more self, you know, and uh, be safe. That's what I can say, just be safe because we want to see you tomorrow. Mr. Christian, we'd like to see you tomorrow, <coughs> you know. Uh, we'd like to see you tomorrow. We don't want anything to happen to anybody. Uh, Odua Gibson, I thank you so much for being on this program. Everybody that has come, I thank you guys a lot. Uh, the health gospel, they have been tremendous, they have helped me a lot. And uh, we, I think we're, we're doing something together actually. So that, that's very nice. I'm going to flash everybody again. Uh, there's a whole lot I'm just selecting. There's David UK room yeah, that's been here and left. And uh, ah, it's too much, it's too much. I'm just scrolling, scrolling. Oh, yeah, if I don't do this, this woman will not like me anymore. Madame Falilat, you know, she, she left sometimes, she's back. I think uh, Muhammad Ali as well, you know. And so many others, please. If I didn't mention you, I didn't flash your name on the screen. I'm so sorry, I will do that next time. But everybody, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Mr. Christian.